So here you are, a baby fetus, um, eight or nine weeks old, and you need to form your skeleton. This is when this occurs. So the two different mechanisms by which this is done are intramembranous ossification and endochondral ossification. I'll write that other one here as well, even though that will be the next video. I talked about two mechanisms in the previous video, but I didn't tell you their names. Ossification. Endochondral is going to be with a pre-existing cartilage model. Most of the bones use this, um, replacing cartilage, endochondral. A few bones, so the skull and the clavicle, um, flatter, smaller bones, are going to use this intramembranous ossification. So that is going to mean inside a membrane instead of a cartilage replacement model. So before we dive into intramembranous ossification, I want to um, give you a new term. And in that, remind you of this awesome thing called differential gene expression, which allows your cells to differentiate and specialize into all the different tissues that you have in your body, all the different cell types that make up all your tissues. The simple version of that is um, a sperm and an egg coming together, and then different genes are expressed to form epithelial, connective, muscle, and neural tissue. Okay, so that's how those four tissues exist, even though the genetics are the same in each one. There's different genes being expressed. But as you might guess, it's more complicated than like going from um, this ball of cells to connective tissue. Also, connective tissue, how many types are there? I don't even know. Actually, I've never counted um, a lot. There's further differentiation that's going to happen. Muscle tissue, also there's various you know, um, skeletal, cardiac, and smooth muscle. So this is another image of that you can see of this. Um, this is not developmental biology class. I'm not going to go into details on these, but what I want to do is introduce a type of embryonic con connective tissue called mesenchyme. So all connective tissues arise from mesenchyme. So it would be somewhere on this pathway here before connective tissue, um, but also smooth and cardiac muscles. So um, some of these here. And specifically, um, it arises from that mesoderm. So again, don't need to know about the whole process, um, but mesoderm is one of the earliest tissue types that arises from stem cells. Um, along with endoderm and ectoderm, and then our mesenchyme is going to arise from our mes mesoderm. So it's more specialized than mesoderm, but it still is very unspecialized largely. It can become still connective tissues, um, any type, as well as smoothing cardiac muscle. So we're gonna use the term mesenchyme to talk about intramembranous ossification. So bone formation, um, we're going to have a couple steps here. One, so right now we don't have bone or cartilage, right? We're talking about like a fetus that um, needs some bones. So this is going to be largely the skull and clavicle. So we can think about like, let's make the skull. We're going to make a flat bone. Step one is the mesenchyme is going to form a membrane. So the mesenchyme is, has differentiated um, as part of development form 
um, it's going to line up along the blood vessels to form a a membrane layers of, of mesenchyme near, near blood vessels. So I guess I could draw some blood vessels there or some blood at least, so blood, ve oops, blood vessels nearby. Doop, doop. These mesenchymal cells are going to develop into something else, right? So they are precursors to any connective tissue. In this case, those, that mesenchyme tissue is going to develop into, guess what? Osteoblasts. Osteoblasts are bone matrix producing cells, right? They are young cells that have di just differentiated from mesenchyme intramembranously. So they've developed literally from a membrane, bone tissue developing from, from a membrane. Osteoblasts, just said this, produce, I keep pressing the wrong button there, um, produce what? Bone matrix. Um, this is actually called osteoid. Yeah. Um, it's the unmineralized bone tissue that then needs to be um, calcified before maturation. So this is basically collagen. Um, do I care when, so like your book has this, I think is a separate step. That step, step three, the osteoid is calcified. So, right, um, calcified. Key point is here, the osteoblasts are doing this. So now we've got this, bone tissue, right? What type of bone tissue? This is spongy. So it's um, just because of the density that it is so far. It, it's, it's some's there, but it's kind of all along this blood vessel. Um, it's spongy bone. And the osteoblasts are then going to mature into osteoclasts. I'm sorry osteocytes primarily, might be some osteoclasts as well, right? mature bone cells. So now they are gonna be in, in lacuna. And let me see if I can try to draw where we are here. We've got this mesenchyme, almost could use that picture still. We've got the mesenchyme on the sides here. And then we've got in the middle, spongy bone that's all um, surrounded by blood vessels. So this is gonna be our bone tissue. Spongy bone is made up of trabeculae. This is our mesenchyme, which is all on the edges is going to develop into dense connective tissue, which is going to be our periosteum. You know what that is, right? Um, Osteoblasts then at the surfaces here can fill in space. So you're actually going to have along the edges, osteoblasts basically keep doing their thing, keep dividing um, and producing more osteoid. So this is going to be compact bone, like a sandwich with spongy bone in the middle. sandwich of spongy bone. Okay, I think I got that. Um, I guess I, if I want to be complete, I could put step five here, right? We had that um, periosteum form from the, the, the edges, and then we wanna make sure we have that compact 
phone as well at those two, two surfaces. So again, this is a developmental process, but it actually this occurs somewhat during thickening and remodeling um, during throughout life as well. Okay, that's intramembranous. And the key idea of that is that it is from an existing membrane where osteoid and then bone tissue, which is the calcified version, is created. Next, we'll look at a model where we have cartilage basically turn into bone. 